Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is day 241 of playing chess every day until 2000 Dilo. And if you watched yesterday's video, you know it was a bad day. Very bad day. It's okay. Those happen. It's my own fault. Do not play chess with a headache. Now we're sitting at 1790. Let's find our opponent. And we find uh, SpongeBob's best friend, Patrick Star. And we get the white pieces. So we're going to play our trusty Vienna. And probably the main line. There it is. Bring the queen out. They just take. So we're going to take. And are we going to get a boring queen trade line? We might. It's typical. No, they just go there. Yeah, so we're going to continue to just develop, protect the pawn, probably castle, queenside. Now the knight comes out. So if I pin, they'll definitely do this. Because then, I mean, taking here probably wouldn't be a good option. Now we kind of need to think about what we want to do here. If I play this, pushing is going to be annoying. Developing like this could be okay to open up the G file. But I don't think it's necessary. And I probably need to move the queen. So where do I move the queen to? Is the question. I don't really want to play this because then they just play here. And then... I guess that's not always a pass pawn. Here, they go here. I mean, I could even challenge. Takes, takes. Let's push the pawn. Let's challenge their central pawn right away. Or maybe I should have castled. Okay, they go for that. Maybe I castle now. And then we have the rook on this file. We can maybe play this. Because now there's this check that could be quite annoying. But then I go back. Here, just king b1. Yeah, I don't mind this. Since we moved the c pawn... Our queen has access to come over here if it's needed to protect. I don't really want to put the bishop on this diagonal because then he just plays knight here. And then it's just not going to be that pleasant. So this could be just a nice little improving move. Here, to go here is not really great. I kind of want to go here, but now I'm just always protecting that pawn. E could start pushing the G pawn. Could also play this, which just loses a pawn but opens up my rook so maybe we play that after hmm. actually i'm gonna go here and the idea is that i want to play here to try and trade off his light squared bishop which is kind of counterintuitive to my pawn structure here especially with this bad bishop but i finish my development and then maybe we get the rook and it looks like he's gonna castle kingside yeah so he castles kingside now we're gonna go here we're going to try and trade this off and finish our development. Just trying to untangle. Wow. Okay. So I'm not going to take, but don't I just have takes? I guess he can take with the rook. Yeah. And then now let's throw the pawns forward. Here takes. Queen takes or pawn takes? Hmm. Probably queen takes so the knight can be active. But pawn takes also opens this up, which could be strong. Oh, I kind of have to take with the pawn. Otherwise I lose this pawn. So let's go here. He can take the pawn. Oh, he misses it. He could have took the pawn because the bishop was actually pinned. And then I would have had to move the queen. Would have been a little bit unpleasant. Probably knight here to go here. Potentially get in. Honestly, I'm thinking I just play this. Just go here so that the knight can never come here. Because if I play king here, he has this immediately. But if I go here, if he does this, I just take, take. And then when he goes here, I just come up. So let's play here. Yeah, so he's going to start striking. Takes, queen takes, but then he can push the pawns. If I go here, he takes, opens up this file. Then I'm one step closer to going here. So I think I'm actually just going to do this. Here, here. If he ever takes, we can take like this. Not the most ideal, though. I guess no matter what, this file's getting open. But I'd just rather use the tempo on developing rather than protecting a pawn or winning a pawn back, I guess. But maybe that's wrong. Do we have any tempo moves? I'm going to go here, rook here. Yeah, there's that. Do I have a sacrifice? Takes, king takes, check, back. Then I don't think there's anything. Check, takes, check. Has to go to the corner. Still nothing because he can always go here. But I could go here to threaten mate. And then he's going to have to push pawns. Is that worth now because he can go here? And now this 
comes with check. Actually, that's really bad. Yeah, I underestimated this. Good slide over takes and not take. No, because then he, no, he can't take. So king here takes. This is protected by the queen. So let's do this. It's a little bit scary. I'm playing this game very, very cold. I didn't do any puzzles, no study, no nothing before this. I just woke up, showered, and here we are playing chess, which is not what I usually do. But uh, here we are. Here, here. It's kind of the idea. So I'm seeing a tactic. If I get my rooks here, I can take here and then sack takes. And then this would be mate. So that's kind of what I'm going to go for. Don't think he can allow me to double without bringing some pieces to help. That is. But he can always push the pawns straight down to the wire. Yeah, so he goes knight back. Probably looking for this because that would protect that square. So what if I just push the pawn? Because then he can't take. And if I push the pawn, I'm also threatening to go here and here. And then maybe like there's some of this kind of stuff. So I quite like pushing the pawn. I'm honestly kind of surprised he hasn't played like king over yet, but well, that's kind of interesting. So we're going to go here just to double up. Now he might protect using the rook, but then we can go here. And there's still a checkmate threat. Takes here, takes here, and then queen here is checkmate. Pushes the pawn. Takes, oh no, because this is here. Takes, all right, let's calculate. Takes, if pawn takes, rook takes, knight takes, rook takes, he can always escape here. We also don't have that check right now. I feel like there is something here. Takes, takes, rook takes, knight takes, and then queen in check, possibly. I feel like we need to take though. If I take, he takes, opening up an attack maybe, but then check. We're going to take here. We're just getting the initiative, so I like it. We're just getting the initiative, so I like it. He just takes. Now, he could push, but then he pushes. Doesn't seem very good. Takes. Knight takes. Check. I could also just, like, bring the queen here. This is also an idea. And then how does he protect that? King here. Then we go check, he goes here, takes, here, takes, no, push here, takes, takes, rook takes, but the queen is now blocked by my own pawn for this checkmate threat. The king would have to go to either of these squares. Maybe I just bring the knight. What if we just go here? Like this, takes, takes, rook takes, here, here. I could also just push the pawn and always block the square from being escaped. So if I go here, the initiative is his, but... Now I'm kind of threatening some more serious things, I think. But it blocks this check. I think it's important, though. I think it's important to cut off the king's only escape, which is here. Now he's in a mating net. And now there might be some, some sacrifices lurking. Yeah, because now if I take, take, check, if he goes here or here, we have queen here checkmate. We just needed to stop him from coming here. So as quiet as this move is, it's actually still threatening a rook mate. Or a rook sack mate. Queen in. Okay, but I think I still have check, takes, check, here. And then there's going to be a rook here, protecting. So I think we can sacrifice here. If he ignores and just goes here, we still have check. And then the only move is to block. So we can sacrifice the rook. We got to queue up a, uh, a Gotham screaming, and he sacrifices the rook. Yeah. I think that one deserved it. That better have gotten a brilliant. It did. A beautiful. I'll show you guys the sequence after we look through this game. And it's a pretty bad game, it appears. <laughs> so we got a typical Vienna game. And this is already a mistake. So I should have just castled. I think I said that in the game. Pushes, then we castle. King v1. Yeah, never a bad idea. And then I try to trade that off, but probably not the best. And this is a blunder. Now, it's a blunder because they actually have knight takes, which I saw afterwards, just due to this pin. And in this position, this is actually the best move. And knight takes this, and then they're not supposed to take the bishop. They have to take here, rook d8, d there, and then they capture. And now they're up a pawn. But my opponent missed it. And we get this position, which was very scary. And I actually 
was completely losing here. Completely losing. What move did they miss? Just rook over. So my opponent didn't keep the tension. And then we missed something, which was probably... Okay, it was knight there. But we go there, and then he started respecting my threats too much. And we go here, which is a mistake. Yeah, but here they just take... No, they don't take. Oops. Rook protects, plus it's mate. I was thinking here, or they play g6. But then I guess we have these pawns, so utilize them. I don't know. I uh, I didn't do that. And then they blunder. We bring the other rook here. Takes, takes. And now I thought I had to cut off the king. Apparently I can sack. Yeah, I can sacrifice already. Takes, king runs. Oh, that's what I was missing. I was missing that I could take the pawn with check. And then he goes here. Queen e6. Only move. Queen d6. Goes back. And then rook over. King here. E7 check. Here. G6 check. Only move. And then we have checkmate. Wow. Anyways, we uh, we created a mating net. And I don't know what he could have played here. Could have played that. Oh. That is such a nasty move. This is something that I completely overlooked. They could have pushed the pawn. We're still completely winning. But pushing the pawn enables the queen to see the h5 square, which is where my queen would be delivering the checkmate. But this is still winning, apparently. So takes, takes, queen comes in, and then we just take. And yeah, I mean, that would have been devastating. I do have this pass pawn, but I don't really know where we're going from here. Let's look at the analysis. We gotta get the knight into the game. That's such a funny move. They take its mate. Uh, yeah. So if they would have found... Oh, after this. If they would have found this. Computer says knight f4 right away. And then bring the queen over. And this is probably where I would have got a little bit scared. Because now it looks like they're defending. And the queen. <laughs> they say queen here. If takes, we take... Their knight? No, we sacrifice? Really? What happens if takes? Then there's mate. Okay. I don't think I would have played queen up, to be honest. Good game to my opponent. I had a, fi I had a performance heal of 1500 versus his 1100. And I, I don't think I said the accuracy is, but it's kind of horrendous. I played with a 64.3 versus his 49.9. But it's a very tactical game. In tactical games, they're typically lower accuracies because you just miss a lot of things that's okay is what it is i don't like the two blunders though this one yeah that's kind of bad and then this we kind of just completely overlook this i did feel like i was getting run over when he played this but apparently we can just take and allow this what and we just run the king queen v2 and then we just place the queen here they take uh, we don't take knight takes is losing so we have to play back Knight jumps in. Ah, I see. Wow, we just run the king. Then they're supposed to go here. Knight takes. No, f5 is the move. We're still losing. Like, we're down a pawn. What? Okay, go here. Takes. Do they try to exchange? No, they come in like this. CD. This looks scary. They're up two pawns, but apparently this is kind of holdable by, by Stockfish. Well... Point two, it's pretty bad. Yeah, but yeah, I uh, I think I'm not gonna play another game after after this kind of horrendous thing. So today is another one game video. I hope you enjoyed. We got a W, a couple of mistakes here and there, but a beautiful rook sacrifice. And uh, yeah, I will see you in another video. I hope you enjoyed.